Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is Kevin Harvick's 2014 Budweiser Championship car. Uh, this was the first year of the current chase format where you have a final four, win to get in, and all the other absolute and utter bull crap that NASCAR could come up to be any more gimmicky than they were before. And to be fair, the minute they announced this championship format, I about threw up in my mouth. I'm not going to lie. I was reading it online. They said, new format. You win to get in, and uh, they do knockout style, and at the last race, it's every man for himself. The guy that finishes ahead of the others wins. And I thought to myself, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Win or beat the same guy 35 times in a row, but if he gets you on the last race, he's, our, he's your champion. And to that, eh, really dumb. So anyway... Not Kevin Harvick's fault, because in this season, he did have a good season. He had a great year. Um, definitely had some inconsistencies. Got knocked out of a lot of races. If stage points were around in this time, I'd, I'd argue Kevin Harvick could be the champion. He was running up front of a lot of races and got knocked out late. But to put that in perspective, I think Jeff Gordon had this championship, which would have been his seventh or sixth. So anyway, let's get on from my uh, complaining, and let's get a good look at this diecast. So... Um, we'll go ahead and start with the box here. Slide that out of the way. It's a pretty hard one to find. I'm not going to lie. I, I found one a while back and I don't see a ton of them floating around. So here we go. We've got, uh, the stars, yellow, silver, and black, same as the all-star confetti. And obviously it's on any of the championship cars from 2012 to here. We got our card here. Here we go. So, uh, he had 36 starts, 8 poles, which was a ton for him. He didn't um, he didn't win a lot of poles until they went to the uh, knockout, or what do they call it, um, group qualifying kind of thing. And so, when they did group qualifying, that really benefited Kevin Harvick. He, he did not win a lot of poles before that. Um, but he won 8 poles this year. Um, led 2,000 laps, um, more than any of the past 3 videos I've done. Uh, top five finishes, 14 top fives. Top 10, 20. Um, average start was 9.1. Average finish was 12.9. Actually the worst of any of the champions so far. And part of that was, again, he was leading and doing well. And, I mean, I can I can remember a handful of races where he got knocked out because of stupid pit problems, stupid crashes, just dumb things that knocked him out of races. So uh, 28 career wins at this point. He obviously has a lot more now. I think he's almost a 50. Um, Kevin Harvick. Your 2014 champion. So, as I said, this would have been a year probably Jeff Gordon would have won it, but uh, obviously the format doesn't work well for him. There you can see the the Homestead car there, um, him celebrating. You can see there's Jimmy John's, uh, him hoisting the trophy. Uh, one of 3,637. And on the other side here, there's just one more picture, and it's the Jimmy John's car probably celebrating at Phoenix because I don't think he won any other time with it, so... Um, yeah, Kevin Harvick was by far the fastest car in 2014. It really wasn't hard to tell, but I do remember for sure he had a, a ton of bad luck. Some of it his own doing, some of it not. Um, but I mean, I remember even the race that Casey Kane won. He was the fastest car. Kane beat him on pit strategy. And then on a late race yellow, uh, he would have had a top 10 finish and then he got knocked out of the race on a wreck. So things like that happened to Kevin Harvick all through 2014. So let's go ahead and take a look down this car. So down our left side, we got the Budweiser seal, uh, stuff in the background which is kind of cool you got the red and the white but then in the background you can see all the little uh graphics that they got for the budweiser stuff um in behind it we've got the chase for the cup championship four up there harvick on the name uh or on the windshield banner and the bright yellow we got the bright yellow splitter as well and then this year they had had done the bright yellow number on the roof um which i'm glad they changed it to the spoiler i thought that was a way better option because when they had it on the number on the roof um some numbers were already yellow and some of them didn't look good in yellow so changing the whole color of the number was kind of dumb but uh, down the left side we got budweiser jimmy johns um we got Ditech.com. Uh, this is when they had the spoilers that were really tall. Tons of downforce. Uh, there you can see we have the clear layer across the top of the spoiler. Frankly, these are tall, are actually taller than our... Or the current spoilers were taller than the 2014. So why they didn't put these spoilers on the car, on the diecast, I don't really know. <laughs> because this spoiler... First of all, these didn't break. These are strong spoilers. And for some reason, they didn't put these spoilers back on the car. They put the little short ones back on. So I'd like to see him put these back on the car because they're really tall. They're really strong. They look good, but um, not my call. There's the ethanol ring there. We've got to grab some buds. Chevy SS, Budweiser, DIN 715. 
uh, fuel cell in there. Um, same stuff you always see. On the roof, we've got the championship logo for 2014, Jimmy John's. As I said, we've got Harvick over there. Um, onto the right side, it's the same as the left, nothing crazy change in there. Um, again, this is a good-looking paint scheme. The detail and the graphics behind the four are actually one of the coolest parts, and I have always wanted to get uh, some of these uh, Kevin Harvick race wins from 2014. Um, the two I really want to get are Darlington and Homestead. <laughs> uh, a Homestead just sold on eBay for over $500, so I will not be getting that anytime soon. But um, for sure the Darlington should be a little bit closer because it's a dirty race win. It's real, you know real race worn and stuff so i've, I've kind of had my eye on some of those and would like to get one at some point uh just to do a review i don't know if i'd keep it but um anyway down the rest of the left side we got the blue goodyear which is kind of weird i don't think i've ever seen a, a blue goodyear on the front like that but it sticks out i'll give it that on the front there you can see our uh yellow splitter and then the white nose budweiser up there on the hood um this was one of the first years too 2013 actually was but they ran budweiser as a whole on the hood it used to just say bud uh, both Casey Kane and Dale Earnhardt Jr. schemes for years, and then they changed it to the whole Budweiser. So, um, But overall, this is a great diecast. I like it um, as part of my championship series. Um, would I recommend it for everybody? No, it's just for those who collect the championship years or you know Kevin Harvick fans and stuff like that. So to any random Alex Bowman fan that doesn't collect the championship ones, frankly, this car probably doesn't make much sense in their collection. So um, anyway, that'll wrap up this review. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the next DieCast Review.